Marcus Ambrose. It's Australian for Santa Claus. Race fans, you have once again stumbled upon the strangely compelling Rowdy Minute, your brief summary of all the weekend's NASCAR news. I am Leonard Masters, and the story from our very first road race of the year out at the Infineon Raceway in Northern California was a gift. One given by Marcus Ambrose to the guy who needed it the least, four-time defending champion Jimmy Johnson. Johnson, you see, was in the midst of turning in his best road course race ever, proving once again that he and crew chief Chad Knauss can conquer anything. But despite leading lots of laps, it looked like the 48 would have to settle for second behind Ambrose until the generous Tasmanian shut his car off for just a little while. It was an attempt to save fuel that seemingly he didn't need to save, and when the car wouldn't refire going back uphill, Ambrose was passed by six other cars. Johnson rolled on to the victory, proving that anything Jeff Gordon can do, I can do better. Meanwhile, the 24 car was beaten and banging his way to a fifth place run and pissing off at least five other drivers in the process. The guy with the biggest complaint had to be Martin Truex Jr., who was rudely punted whilst running in second. He finished 42nd, costing him at least 100 points, probably more, in his quest to make the chase. He thinks Jeff Gordon got a little something something coming. For the complete story of the race and all things NASCAR during the week, join us at Rowdy.com and check out, as always, the Daily Rowdy Podcast. Until next time, I'm Leonard Masters. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy.com.